James Kaufman, World News Report, today, November 28th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Thanksgiving, wherever you are in the world. JPL has just announced that we have a near-Earth object, a space rock, a meteor that might become a meteorite inbound for tomorrow, November 29th, 2024. The name of that newly discovered space rock, meteor, near-Earth object is 2024 WF5. It's in for close approach tomorrow on the 29th. They think it's about 30 feet in diameter. It doesn't look like it's coming on any type of inclination whatsoever. It looks like it's on our orbital plane. It's moving faster than any space rock I remember ever seeing at 21.4 kilometers per second. Again, being only 30 plus feet in diameter with no inclination, it shouldn't be a problem, although it is moving very quickly. This rock will pass between Earth and the Moon at some point tomorrow, and we'll look at those details. Zoom into the inner solar system, and there we are right there, 2024 WF5. And we'll move ahead one day. And there's our close approach. As you can see right there, one looks like they're on top of the other. All right, looking at some of the orbit parameters. This rock was first spotted yesterday on November 27th. And the solution date, as you can see up here, is the 28th today. So I'm keeping you updated. As usual, total observations, 30 observations over a one-day period. Besides the speed of the rock, which again is 21.4 kilometers per second, extremely fast, we have a really high condition code. The condition code is 7. 9 being they have no idea, highly uncertain as to where. This space rock is headed, and zero being they know exactly where it's headed. So obviously, seven is much closer to nine than zero. So there's a lot of questions about the space rock. It could be much larger. It could have companions, etc. Let's get some close approach data here. Now, amazingly, with only 30 observations, they were able to extrapolate three pages of data or 24 past and future flybys. And we're most interested in tomorrow, the 29th. You'll see up here, it looks like it's going to come closer to the moon than Earth. That is not the information that they were handing out earlier. It's going to come extremely close to the moon and very close to the Earth as well. It's like the close approach to Earth is going to be about 4.58 or 5. It's going to be about midnight tonight or about 11.58 tonight on the 28th. And it's close approach to the moon will be almost five hours after that so about 5 45 in the morning and that's going to be central time uh the close approach again to earth will be central time really tonight uh just before midnight based on the utc times given here now, let's see how close point zero zero one is and point zero 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 five is as far as actual miles. So, although flying between Earth and the Moon, it's really 
going to be 92,000 miles from the center of Earth. Not a particularly close shave. Let's see how close it's going to be to the moon. And it looks like it's going to be about half that distance, 0 0.0005 astronomical units to miles, about 46,000 miles away from our moon. So it's going to go right in between the two. So in summary, we have a space rock inbound flying between the moon and Earth. It's like it will be closer to the moon than Earth. And that space rock is thought to be about 30 feet in diameter, moving extremely fast, 21.4 kilometers per second. There is a very high condition code on the space rock, so there's a lot of uncertainty associated or surrounding the space rock. And we know that the close approach will be Technically, on the 29th, but really central time here, about 11.58 tonight, central time, and about 5.45 in the morning, central time here in the U.S. Now, let's hope there's no companions, and let's hope it flies, flies between the Earth and Moon without any problems whatsoever. Again, 2024 WF5. God bless. Please stay safe, share, and subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.